So does everybody agree that this is the way they would probably attempt to draw this triangle? Is everyone happy with that? Okay, so you would do this work and, oh, BC was four, right? Everyone agrees? And if I tell you to solve that triangle, you would fill it in because right there is your pair, yes? BC is three in your notes. Son of a motherless goat. All right, so BC is three. Well, that just changes slightly how I'll be teaching this. So BC is three centimeters. Okay, so you guys still would draw it like this. Uh, oh, sorry, I could have left that there. Foom, foom, foom. 30. Ah, ba da ba da ba da ba da. A, 30. B, 6. And C, 3. Right? You would do that. Everyone agrees? Okay. And then you would use the sine law because you have a pair right there. Yes? And you would do sine, you would do 3 over sine 30 equaled and both of these other ones, you would first do C because you had this, right? So you would go 6 over sine C. Yes? Everybody cool with that? And then you would do cross and you would get 6 sine 30 divided by 3 equaled sine C. Yeah? And then you would shift sine C and you would get C equals whatever that is. Right? Everybody cool? So on your calculator, I'm just going to show you up here. Um, shift sign. 6 sine 30. Close brackets. Close brackets. Divided by 3. So C equals 90. Is everybody cool? Now, once you do that, what does that mean about our drawing? Did we draw it correctly? No, because the drawing is just there to help us out, right? So if I was going to draw this correctly, it would actually look like this. 6, 3, and it would be a 30, 60, 90 triangle, yes? Is everybody cool with that? Okay, now here is where we are going to do, uh, we're going to leave that for now, and we're going to go on to the next one and see, then we're going to compare the two. So what is your guys's for four in your actual notes? Because my notes aren't the same. It's 36 and what? Two for you guys. Okay. So again, we're going to draw it again. 30. Not 36, you idiot. 36, 2. Right? And again, we're going to try and find angle C. So what would we do? We do the same crisscross thing that we did before. 2 over sine 30 equals 6 over sine C. And then you would do the math. What happens when you do the math? Now I want you guys to do this one. What happened? You will all get an error. Why? When I do this, I get 1.5. Is sine ever allowed to be more than 1? No. Okay? Everybody cool? 
Because if it was more than one, opposite over hypotenuse wouldn't work, would it? Hypotenuse has to be the bigger side, right? Okay. So knowing what we know now, this question, we started with this. Yes? 30 and 6, right? Now, we drew the third side down here, and then we found out that it was actually vertical, right? So here is how we need to do these ambiguous triangles. We have what we know, right? And then we know so far the triangle we know could go over there. That's one option, yes? The triangle could go straight down. That's a second option there. The third option that we just found out, the triangle might not exist at all. And there's a fourth option. The triangle might go down here, and it will show up green in a second. Should have been green. The triangle might go down here. Okay? And this is what I mean by ambiguous. You don't know until you try it. But there is a shortcut to figuring it out. And the shortcut is this line right through the middle, which I called yesterday Q when we were developing the sign law. Everybody remember that? It's got a proper name. It's called an altitude. And most textbooks label it as H because it's the height of the triangle. I hate labeling it as H because we already have a hypotenuse. So that's why I call it Q. But in, you'll notice in your work when you do it that they call it H, small h. Is everybody okay with that? All right. So here is what we need to do. We need to discuss and I'm going to use gray, we need to discuss this, which is called the altitude. Now, the altitude did not exist in this black triangle, did it? We put it in, right? So what we do is we take what we know, the corner and the side that we know, and we check this altitude. Now, when I draw an altitude, what angle would it make right there? 90. So all I have to do is check this altitude. Now we know this altitude, I'm going to call it Q. We know that Q, 6, Q over 6 will equal sine 30, correct? From Sokotoa, right? So Q will equal 6 sine 30. Everyone agree? The sine of 30 is 0.5. So it is 6 times 0.5, which is 3. So my altitude is 3. Everybody with me? Now notice, in this first triangle, I told you that the third side was 3. Well, the altitude is 3. So if the third side equals the altitude, it has to be a 90 degree triangle, so it's no longer ambiguous, is it? Is everybody with me? So, if Q, or your altitude, equals your third side, you have a 90 degree triangle. Everybody cool? Everybody cool? All right. Let's go down to the next one. Now this ended up with an error, didn't it? Because this is what we had. 36. And we know that the altitude here was 3, correct? Everyone agree? But my third side of the triangle was only two. Would it reach? It can't reach, can it? Because it has to be at least three, right? Or it won't reach. No matter where I put a two centimeter line, 
I can't complete the triangle. Does everybody understand? So what does that tell us? If the altitude is greater, sorry, not greater than, less than the third side, you can't complete the triangle. Does everybody understand the first two? Those are the easy ones. Is everybody cool with them? If it's equal, it has to be nine degrees because it is exactly long enough to make a triangle. If it's less, it's just going to swing like a pendulum and never reach. Is everybody good? Once, twice, thrice? Okay, let's look at the next kind. So what do you guys have here? You won't have two. What do you have? Pardon? Eight? I don't know how that happened. So you guys have eight here. So let's draw what we know because now we've been warned that the triangles might not work, right? So the only part of this we know is this part, 30 and 6, correct? Now, I'm using 30 degrees because the sine of 30 is 0.5. It's easy to do the math. This can be any angle. You all are aware of that, right? It doesn't have to be 30. Everyone's cool with that? Okay, so now we need to see how this is going to work. So we check. We know for a fact that Q is 6 sine 30. Or in other cases, it's going to be that measurement times the sine of that angle. Is everybody cool? Right? And we know that that is 3. Agreed? So we know this is 3. But we also know the third side is 8. Yes? So if I have a third side, which I'm going to draw with a green highlighter, where can it go? If I go straight down, does it make a triangle? No, because it goes past. Everyone see that? What if I go this way? Does it make a triangle? No, because it goes past. So the only direction it can go is way out here. Does everybody understand? Everybody with me? So then that means I make this giant triangle. Is everyone cool with that? Right? Okay. So that one is pretty simple. If Q is... Oh, did I, I screwed up that last one, didn't I? Because I said if Q is less than... The altitude is, no, 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 I was, yeah, I was right the first time. If the altitude is greater than the third side, you can't complete the triangle. Sorry, guys. I should have actually written it out. Sorry about that. My fault. So on this one, if Q is less then the third side we can make at least one oblique triangle. And oblique just means it's got a big angle. Okay? Please highlight at least one. Now, just like the previous two, we had to work with both of them. We're going to work with two situations here. Has everybody got this comfortable? Does everybody see why this one works? Okay. So your third one, this should be a five, probably. Four? Okay. Uh, 
All right. So again, I'm going to shrink this down so we can keep both on the screen. So everyone's cool with this one, right? So now, how can I start this drawing? 36. And what do we know the altitude to be? Three. We know that the altitude is three. Now our third side is four, correct? So it's greater than three, so we know we can make a triangle, right? Okay, so I could go down here, couldn't I? Because that is four, agreed? Everyone cool with that? Okay, now look at this though. We know this to be three. We know this to be six. Could I not put a line down there? Because we know it's greater than three, so it can't go straight down or it'll go past here, correct? We already know from this one that we can go this way. But notice this time, since this is only four and this is six, it'll fit in that space, won't it? Everybody see what I'm saying? So we know that if it's greater than the third side, we can make at least one. But this is where the ambiguous part comes in. If Q is less than the third side side and please highlight and less sorry and less than the known side we can make two triangles. And this is where your knowledge has to come in, right? Because there's only one way that you would build the triangle, right? For example, if I was building a roof of a house, would I use triangle A or triangle B? A, right? Because you need, to, you need to cover the whole house. You picking up what I'm putting down? Now, you could say, well, you could use this one. You'd turn it on its side. But you can't turn a roof on its side. Yes? Well, shouldn't that like, statement be changed? Because it's saying if Q is less than the third side and less than the known side. But if, but if oh, sorry. If Q is less than the third side and... Yeah, you're right. I've written that badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've written that badly. Yeah, I got to change how we write this because I was talking while I was writing it. So yeah, if Q is less than the third side, which is right because Q was three, that's less than four. And the known or the third side is less, right? And third side is less than the known side. Thank you. See, even explaining it is ambiguous, right? Now, all of this is kind of like, until you put it into practice, right? So let's do a couple of, of, uh, couple of ones, and then we'll go back and we'll look at number six and eight and nine, okay? So here we are at one, page 173. So angle A is 58. So we know our first angle is 58. Do you guys have 58, 10, and 20? Okay. So if that's angle A, 
then we're going to put B up here, right? Which means, no. That's what we have right now, correct? Okay, what else do we know? Across from big A is 20. So does that tell us, though, right now, Max, how we can draw this triangle? Does it tell us if it's uh, 2 or 1 or what? It doesn't tell us, right? What's in the way? Like, what, what don't we like about... Um, about what we've got drawn here. If I'm going to draw this at 20, is that okay? Yes or no? Is, is it across from A? So is it okay? But it might be over here, correct? Or it might be straight down, correct? So what's the only thing we can do to tell ourselves how to draw this? We need to find an altitude, yes? But to find an altitude, we need this, angle, this side here, yes? Well, we know one of the sides is 10. So what should I write here? The 10. Which makes this angle what? What? B. It's different than we've been drawing it before, but we know how to draw, right? So once we have these two, can we use that to find our altitude? Yeah, because we know that this altitude here is going to be 10 sine 58, right? This right here has to be 10 sine 58 which is what you go to your calculator and you find that out what is it pardon me 8.5 so this is 8.5 20 is way bigger than 8.5 isn't it it's also way bigger than 10 isn't it so it has to go in what direction way out there is everybody with me? So how many triangles can I make here? I can only make one oblique triangle. So that's the first part of the question. But now, since I know that this side is 20, can I now find all the other angles? By doing regular sine law, yes? Do I have a pair? What's my pair? 20 and sine 58, right? Now, guys, that's what we did yesterday. Can I leave that with you and then go on to the next ambiguous part, which is the new stuff that we did today? Okay, we'll come back to this in a minute. I'm going to ask you guys to do these, then we'll do them together. Everybody cool? All right, so what about our next one? How are we going to draw it? What do we know? We have an angle, A, and how big is it? 71. Now, I need a known side. Can I put 12 here where my red dot is? No, I cannot. What could I put there? 17. Does that allow me to find the altitude now? The altitude is what? Equals 17 sine 71, correct? Which is what? 16? Yeah, okay, 16. I just thought you said 60, and I was like, <gasps> no, 16. So I know that to be 16, right? My last side is 17. Sorry, my last side is 12. Will it reach? My third side is going to be 12. Will it reach there? 
If it doesn't reach straight down, will it ever reach? No. So how many triangles can I make? None. No triangles possible. Everybody cool? Okay. Let's go to the third one. Uh-oh, Mr. Myers. I changed the letters. Does it matter? No. Will some of you tell me that it matters? Yeah. Should you? No. I have an angle that I know, so I make that D, and that's 35. I have small d at 133. Could that go here where my red dot is? Could I put 133 there? No, what's the only thing I can put there? 230. So I check my altitude. My altitude is what? What do I always do for altitude? It's 230 sine 35, right? Which is what? 132. Close enough. It's not exactly 132, is it? Okay, yeah. But because we don't actually need that measurement, we only need the approximation, right? Now, my third side's 130 or uh, 230. No, 133. So what are my options? This is 132. Can I go down here at 133? Could I go down here at 133? So there's two triangles possible, which means I have to do sine law with this one. 133, 230, 35. But I also have to do sine law with this one. 230, 35, and 133. Notice that it changes these two angles. Is everybody with me? Okay? This is the problem one because this could be a big triangle or a skinny triangle. All the rest of them are pretty easy, right? Like there's no ambiguity. It's either straight up or really long or it doesn't reach at all. But this one's the problem one, okay? Because when you do the math with this one, you can end up with this guy is what you're most likely gonna end up with, but it could have been this guy, all right? And where this comes into play is in things like uh, reading maps, uh, 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 plotting courses, um, air traffic control, things like that, okay? So if you guys would be so kind now as to go back and actually do the sign law on these three questions that we did. Start on number seven on 173, because we didn't actually do the sign law. We didn't identify all the sides and angles. We just knew that it was one triangle. So on this one, we got to do the sine law for that. And the one I know is 20 over sine 58. That has to equal two more fractions. What are they? What can I write there? There's only one or more number I can write. 10 over what? Sine B. Once I know sine B, I can do what to get the angle? Shift sine. Once I know that angle, do I automatically know the third angle? And then that gives me my pair to work with. Everybody with me? Go ahead and do that, please. Now, if you're good with your calculator, like I said, you can do this all in one step.
Who's ready to tell me what B is? 25. Once you know B, do you automatically know C? 180 minus, right? So C equals 180 minus 25 minus 58, which is 97. So now you know 20 sine 58 equals little c over sine 97. And then you do that math and you find what c is. I don't actually have that done. But I do know it has to be the biggest number, right? I know that it has to be bigger than 20. What is it? 23.4. Do other people have that so I don't have to punch it in? Can I get some corroboration on that? Yeah, that's good. Okay. And then I just check for myself and I see if it makes sense. Biggest side across from biggest angle. Middle side across from middle angle, smallest side across from smallest angle, and it's okay. Everybody good? All right, well, we knew this guy wasn't possible, but down here, we got two options, don't we? Yes. One sec, I just lost my drawing here. Whatever. Now, so 132 was this, right? This was 132. So the 133, if I drew, if I drew this 133 down straight down, it would go too long, right? So I know I have to lean it to one side. You with me? So if I lean it out to this side, no problem. That's the one we like. But because the 133 is shorter than this side, it also will fit on this side. Do you understand? That's why. So I lost my red triangle over here. You guys can be working on the black one while I redraw my red one. If I can ever redraw my red one. So what's the pair I have in the black one? 133 over sine 35 equals 230 over sine. This was uh, big G. So you can find G.
Now, I know I've asked this before in this class. I, I'm pretty sure I have. Do any of you have one of the backwards calculators where you have to push like 83 sine instead of sine 83? Do any of you have one of those? You shouldn't. Does anybody? Okay. So then in red, what's the only thing that's going to change? I'm going to have 133 over sine 35 is going to equal. Now here is where it gets weird. 230 over uh, sine g. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys got to be smart about this, right? This is where your, uh, whatchamacallit, comes into play, right? Now, when we draw this triangle, your common sense, that's what I'm trying to say. When we draw this triangle, you look at this, and you know that this has to be a greater than 90 degree angle, doesn't it? Right? So when you do the, the trig, your calculator is going to tell you this is 83, right? But you know it can't be 83. Remember back to the beginning of the trig unit where we found out that there are two angles that will have the same sign, one on each side of 90 degrees? So if 83 is one of them, 83, what's that reference angle? 83. So there must be another one over there, yes? Which has what reference angle? 83, which means what is theta? 97. Is everybody with me? That's why I leave this one for last and say, do it yourself. Because everybody gets there and says, it's 83. What was the title of this section? Ambiguous triangles, right? Because when you do this, you're going to get 83, and it should be the same, shouldn't it? But you have to bring prior knowledge to the party. You know this can't be less than 90 because of the way the altitude falls. That's why we have to check the altitude. Is everybody good? So this has to be 97. So when I do this math, I get G equals 83. And then you say to yourself, what? And you say, oh, I need an obtuse angle there. That has to be obtuse. Therefore, it's 97 degrees. And then you do everything again. Is everyone okay with that? I know it's not very fair of me to leave you hanging like that and say, go ahead and do it. But I wanted you to get stuck and say it's the same. Because just like in the first part of trig, you have to understand what's going on. Right? That's part of the ambiguity. So once you have that as 97, you're going to do the same thing. You know the third angle is... is 48 and then you can find the third side by doing regular sign is everybody cool yeah okay so now you have the tools to do number six number eight number nine and then all the rest of those problems on the last assignment but be careful on the problems right because this can occur on those, just like it could occur in real life. Is everybody okay? This is why I'm taking two days with sign law, because sign law opens up this mess. Everybody good? Yeah? Okay? So right now, do six, seven, eight, nine 
on uh, page 168. I don't know. Was it 168 that it started? Okay. On 167, do 6, 7. On 168, do 8, 9. Do that for right now. Okay? Now listen. Listen up. I'm going to the doctor for my back. Because it's been 10 days and I still can't do stuff. And I've been doing nothing but resting and icing and doing all the stuff that the internet says to do when you have an injury. It's not working. I'm going to the doctor. Okay? I'm going to the doctor tomorrow. I'm not going to be here. So all those word problems on page 160 blah to 170 blah, 10 to 23 or whatever it is, 16 to 23, I can't remember. I want you to work on them tomorrow. Are you with me? Okay? And I will hopefully today find some time to write an answer key and leave it with the sub. So he or she can show you if you were doing it right or not. Okay? If I don't find time to do that today, it's no big deal. We'll just go over it on Thursday. Okay? Just try it. Everybody cool with that? So by Thursday, I want everything in your book from 168 to 170 done. Is that cool? Okay. Um, one sec. No. It's going to be the last week of January. Well, I don't know. I don't, I, I still don't. Nobody has officially told me what the last week is supposed to look like yet. I assume it will come up in staff meeting, which will be next Tuesday. I assume I will be able to tell you next Tuesday. Everybody good? Six, seven, eight, nine right now, please. And then I will be taking attendance. Does anybody see my keyboard? Yeah, I got to collect marks from them. There's two of them, right? I believe so. We've done two trig assignments, right, guys? And I've collected no marks? I thought I collected one of them. I haven't collected any of them? Okay. Maybe I'll come around and do that today after I take attendance. <laughs> 